a high wire with Delvin to last goes I put one on my son and I measured the CO2 and he's breathing in. Have at it! But you do not dictate my perspective of the temple that was born in me through God. You do not tell me to tear that temple down. You will not make me stop breathing the beautiful God-given air that we love so much. You will not make me believe that these trees are not filtering the air for us right now as we speak. And I know that when enough of us have caught this cold, our elderly and those that have autoimmune diseases will get to come out. Not because we wore masks. The masks are only stretching this out. That's right. This is it. This is the 4th of July. How we walk away from this day will decide the future for our children and closing our beaches so that we cannot celebrate our freedom. We, the people, must stand now. This is our time. Inside our DNA, the science of who we are, we carry the blood of our founding fathers. It is time to retrain this dog, and yes, this old dog is going to have to learn some new tricks. When we go out today, this 4th of July, we must talk to everyone we know. We must not be afraid to have freedom and liberty on our mouths. And the idea that I don't care what your crazy scientific belief is, this mask does not make me an American. This mask only represents that I work for somebody else, not myself. This mask says that I'm simply property of the U.S. government. That I'm only a cow or a goat, like the herd they keep wanting to refer to us as. But we know different. We are the independent, powerful individuals of the greatest nation in the world. That every once in a while is asked to reach down deep and do what is done before. To fight and honor and stand for this great nation. Great speakers here today and um